Well, good morning, troops, and welcome to a solo war video. Uh, Oscar is on holiday, so I am literally doing this on my own. Um, so I decided the best way to get subscribers is by making more videos whilst Oscar isn't here in the country. So what we're going to be doing today is we are we are going to be making a war anthem, like a war. Um, national thing. I apologise about my sister singing. <laughs> uh, yeah, so basically, we're going to make... Oh, there you go. We're going to make a war song that's, like, reminiscent of battle themes on GarageBand. And this is a real chance, not, like, a dumb chance, like, last time I used GarageBand for one of these. This is a real chance for me to show off my uh, music skill. Uh, so yeah, let's get cracking. I hope this doesn't suck because some of them suck and some don't suck. Excuse the mess. Um, that would be of my sister's fault. Alright, so the first and most essential step um, of making a decent garage band is, uh, is if you do this critical first step. So. Yeah, forget all of the technical stuff, forget the wires, forget the leads. The most important thing is the piano one. Right, so if you have turned down the volume of your computer, no, you don't want to do that. You don't you want to turn it up. If you turn up the volume of your computer, then you should be able to hear two noises simultaneously. That's the piano and the computer. Uh, I believe. Yeah. So if we turn down the piano, we should be able to just hear the computer. Yeah, so uh, we got that. So just check it's all working, you know, have a little play. Until you make a mistake. All right, so I, I, I shall see you again when I have thought of a start for our piece. All right, so I picked like a starter instrument, and it's just uh, trumpets. Um, I wanted like what I want to do is make the start like a sort of bugle, sort of um, I don't know what to call it now. It's like all my musical terminology is leaving my head. If you don't know, I play the French horn, the piano, and the automaton. Can you class that as an instrument? Don't know, but yeah, oh, well, I am, so I can play it. Yeah. Uh, so what I want to do is give this be beginning of this piece like a bugle kind of feel. Um, and I felt the only way to do that would be with trumpets, but I tested out a bunch of brass instruments. None of them seemed to work except the trumpet. Um, and then they all have to be on really low volume for it to sound like one because as you can see there's an S on the end that defines the fact that there is more than one of them. So if you play it loudly then it just sounds horrible because there's a bunch of them. Yeah, you know. You can tell that there's more than one there. So you play quietly. Well, no, it doesn't really work that high, but... There you go, it sounds like one to me. So we're going to do like a bugle uh, song, bugle style thing at the start on a, on a trumpet played quietly. So once I've... I'm going to have to crop this out, aren't I? Once I've established something, I will get back to you. Okay, so I've made a little MIDI start with my MIDIs. I only ever use MIDIs, by the way. Uh, M-I-D-I, no idea what it stands for. Uh, and it sounds a bit like this. It's not brilliant, but yeah, here we, here we go. Oh, wrong thing.
Right, so I've created like a little marchy bit that follows immediately after that. Wrong thing again. So I've now created the very rough um, sort of thing of the like climax. It doesn't have any percussion. It does need a bit of touching up, but here it is so far. Okay, so I've began the final four notes, so, you know, this bit, it goes back into key, then it repeats the thing from the start, the bugle, as I like to call it, and then I'll get every instrument to the same chord, that chord for two bars and then it's finished. So I'll work on that and I'll see you in a bit. Also, I put percussion in the bits where which needed percussion, but you'll hear that when you hear the final performance. All right, so I believe I have finished it. Um, I'll listen. I'll listen through now and check that I have, but I'm pretty sure it's done. And I will see you when I see you in a bit once I've listened to it. Okay, uh, I've just listened through it. It's brilliant, if I do say so myself, which I most certainly do. So, troops, if I have to put a light on in here, it makes me look all regenerating. Now, um, it's turned dark as, I, uh, as I've been doing this. I've been doing this for about, oh my, uh, about three hours, four hours. It's given me a two minute, three minute uh, song, which I'm now going to call The War. Um, I'm just going to call it The War, because this is just a piece of music celebrating the war, which I made as a single war episode person without Oscar, my sister's trying to come in. Um, yes, yeah, so... Hopefully this will get me some subscribers and I'll be in the lead whilst Oscar's away. Actually, I'm in the lead now, so thanks so much for subscribing, troops. Um, but if we could subscribe more, you know, we're, we are only 17 subscribers away for, from 100. And remember, at 100, I'll do that big live stream. Make sure you're there because I am going to win the war, guys. It's going to be crazy. I'm going to play a bunch of different games. I'm going to shout out people. And yeah, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. So yes, we just need 17 more, so come on guys, just subscribe. Uh, we can do this before he can, whilst he's still got two weeks in Canada, he can't do anything, therefore he won't get any subscribers. So, yeah, this is our chance to go. So, without further ado, I give you The War, the piece of music that I have created depicting The War, the series long running series on my channel uh, but, and you you know all about it because you're watching it ta-da